Hey everybody, Sam here. And Angela, and we're Green Acre Homestead. So we are down here at our lower garden, and it's actually behind you guys. If you turn around, you'll be able to see it. If you can't turn around, don't worry. We'll turn you around here in a second and let you see it. But today's video is we want to share with you guys a tool that we have been using for a couple of months. It is. Like... Or it has been. I think we had this tool for the lower garden right as soon as we finished tilling it. So it's as May. old as our garden. Yeah. yeah, since May. And what this tool is, is the Haas Tools Double Wheel Hoe. And what this video is going to be is our review experience <laughs> and sharing with you guys, two months into it, what we think of it. Let's go. We've got all the pieces out of the box and the first step I'm actually going to do is put some Danish wool on all the wood pieces. I want these to last as long as they will so I'm going to go ahead and rub those down and get them a really good coating of Danish wool first. All right, so you are, have been reading the instructions, so a little bit. you can just give orders. Take the axle shaft and put it through. Okay, axle shaft. So you put the two dust caps on. Yep. All right, so we'll put one wheel. All right, another dust cap. Thread the lock nuts onto each end of the axle shaft. All right, we have the wheel assembly put together. We got the drive shaft, the two little dust boots, uh, two dust boots on each wheel, both on the insides, outside, and then the 3 h lock nuts. And then you tighten it all together with two half inch wrenches here. Bottom them out on the axle shaft. Yep. That's what it says, right? Yes. Yeah. I figured they machined it properly. So there's very little wobble and everything's tightened down real good there. All right, what's next? handle installation that's what it shows that's I mean, easy <laughs> yeah. stick the wheels on stick the handles on and get to working Ooh. don't get this on your shirt at all it does have oil on it mm. position handles to the outside of each toolbar handle mount place four quarter inch by one and three quarter carriage carriage head bolts through the toolbar handle mount and out through the handle Logos should be facing outward on each handle. I don't think these have. Well, no, but the, they got the oh, hole for the dowel. Yes. There, there's logos. Fasten using quarter inch flat washer, then a quarter inch lock washer, and a quarter inch nut. All right, we've got a little bit of wood glue here. We're going to go ahead and glue this cross member in for the handles. This is Type Bond 2 wood glue. It's a good interior and exterior glue. All right, that is together. Now we're going to use these screws that they give you with pre-drill holes and everything and attach it on the end here. Done. 
What we do next, hun? Okay, handles are on. Now we tighten these. Yes. So there's a little bit of adjustment with this that you can go up and down a little bit. We are short, so let's make these the shortest as possible, which is kind of letting them relax that way. This double wheel hoe kit that we got comes with a few attachments. We get four of these cultivator tines. These are adjustable as far as width, spacing, and the number you want to use. We also got three of these four inch winged sweeps. These are really heavy duty. Um, it's supposed to go underneath the soil as far as cutting the roots and killing any kind of weeds and stuff like that. So there's a three pack of those and it's fully adjustable as well. The next tap that we have is a furrower and a hiller in one. You can turn it, see, this way will make a furrow, but if you swap the blades left to right and do this way, it'll let you heal on the left and right of your vegetables, your growings. This will be really, really useful for the furrows, for opening up furrows for planting and for putting on irrigation lines and stuff like that, and then for hilling to heal our plants. And the last attachment we've got is a stirrup hoe or oscillating hoe or scuffle hoe. This is, I believe, 10 inches wide. This is extremely sharp spring steel on the bottom of this. And what this is designed to do is to glide underneath the surface of the soil and really cut and slice and cut out all of your vegetation that you don't want. It does pivot back and forth. That's normal by design and allows you to kind of work across the soil and cut things out. We'll show you all this here really soon too. Hey, what? get over here and start the video. Oh, I can't help myself. We got a new toy. <laughs> okay, what did we get? We got a double wheel hoe from Haas Tool. Mm -hmm. What is a double wheel hoe? How would it, you explain it? Oh gosh. Because you asked me when I said, I want to get a new tool for the garden. And I'm like, what? <laughs> it is a multi-use tool. You can get like other... Um, attachments to it to put in irrigation to make heels to plow to cultivate to s seed mm -hmm. pretty good that pretty much covers it it's a multi-use tool weeder thing <laughs> weeder cultivator <laughs> oscillating hose stirrup hoe yeah yep so we were down here in our lower garden today and we are going to use the Haas tools double wheel hoe to cultivate our rows and prepare them to lay down some drip tape and if we don't get rained out, go ahead and start planting some seeds. Now, the reason that we wanted to do this instead of using like our little tractor or something like this, something like that, <laughs> is this is a lot more maneuverable and works in our big small garden <laughs> better yeah. than a tractor would. We can do a lot more finessing with it and we can also use it to kind of weed in between the rows whereas we wouldn't be able to get the tractor in and out to do that especially with the deer fence up right our method of gardening is row style but not row style where you have a big tractor and just drive it through it's kind of like in between row garden and small garden so having a tool like this definitely lets us get into tight spots and not make us leave everything wide open for a big tractor to drive through here so he's going to start cultivating the rows and kind of putting where our rows are going to be parallel to the fence right here and see how far we can get. It's too wet. It's too wet. It's way too wet down here still. This is clogging up bad. It's not ideal. <laughs> what? You. What? I know you don't want to, but we have to get it in. Me? Yeah. I do want to. It's just, it's too wet. So it's making the tool look bad. I know the tool does a lot better than this. I was down here a week or two ago. You know what? Roll that beautiful bean footage. I was down here two weeks or so ago, and me and the boys were trying this out on fresh dirt. And it worked dry great. Dry dirt. <laughs> yes, dry dirt. And it worked great. So, let this footage be an example of it does work. And, uh... Just let this video right here be an example of don't do it when it's wet unless you got no choice like us. It still works, you just have to put more effort. Yeah.
So as you can see, we have had this for a little while and we've been using it. She's dirty, she's muddy, but that's the way a garden tool should be. We're gonna take this stuff off here. This is what I put on here to clamp a GoPro to it for some video. This is not part of the wheel hoe tool. So I take that off real quick and flip it over. What we've got here is the stirrup hoe or oscillating hoe. Go ahead and take this off the 9 16 inch wrench here. So I'm going to swap this out for what are one of my favorite attachments, which are these, the winged sweeps. They are kind of like cultivators with wings on the bottom. In fact, that's exactly what they are. Well, I've got it on the table here. I want to make sure these arms are adjusted as low as they will go because these have always felt tall to us. Oh man, <laughs> that's the issue. We've used this thing for a month and a half with the arms raised as high as they go. No wonder it's always felt really, really tall. <laughs> Weeds. Got a section here at the garden. I'll zoom in on it, let you see it better. Where, I mean, we got weeds that tall. It's not been weeded down here in a couple weeks. We've had a lot of rain and it's just like, ugh, I'm dreading it. But I want to show you guys how easy it actually is to do with this tool. Now, this isn't the only tool you can use. Obviously, you can mow it, you can weed eat it, you could use a hoe, you could use a tiller. We have a tiller, we could use that. But the wheel hoe is nice because it is self-powered. You know, you power it. So as long as you can go, it can go. You don't need gas or anything like that. It's not loud unless you get really loud. And it's good exercise. So, whatever. Enough jacking. Let me put the camera down here so you can see it actually work and the benefit of the wheel hoe in this situation. Yeah. So I don't normally go back and rake the stuff up, but I wanted to do that to give you guys, I guess, proof or be able to see closely how well this thing does at just cutting the roots, killing the root systems, laying the stuff over, and allowing you to leave it, which is what I do, or rake it up and dispose of it. So, piece of cake. I'm gonna go ahead and run through these rows. Okay, no, who am I kidding? I'm not gonna run through the rows. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the rows, the main walkways of the garden here cultivate them up get rid of the weeds as quick as I can and be back in a few minutes hopefully just a few minutes Hey, where's the kids and the family when you need them? They're usually always down here. I never get any moments myself working. Well, I guess now I do. I probably up there saw that I was using the wheel hoe going at it real hard. And they're like, yeah, we're good. Let's leave them alone. Well, looks like I finished just in time for it to start sprinkling and cameras don't tend to do that good in the rain. So I'll go ahead and call it quits for this evening. I did at least get all of the garden weeded or cultivated with the wheel hoe on the rows and everything. And at the very near the corner, at least on the sides of it, there's still some walkways, but the weeds aren't that bad down there.
All right, give us some thoughts about that wheel hoe. What do you think? It's really cool, and I really like it to pull up all of the weeds. Is it easy or hard to do? Um, sort of easiest and hard between. Cool. All right, I'll let you get back to work. Okay. Well, I have to say overall, the wheel hoe has been a blessing to have in the garden. For sure, it's definitely a back saver. It makes the weeding a lot easier and it's not nearly as back breaking or arm breaking as just using a hoe or just a small slip hoe by itself. Definitely. Yeah, I would say it's a perfect tool, uh, worth the investment, worth quality wise and everything, exceptional build quality. I would say it's definitely worth it if you're doing a garden that is too large that you think you can manage with just hand weeding tools, but too small for large tractors and stuff, I think. Or if you don't have the money, money for <laughs> yeah, the money for the large equipment. Right. Yeah, it's definitely a perfect tool for that middle ground that I think a lot of people are in. Yes. You know? I think for a long time we did small gardens because we were nervous about the maintenance. Mm -hmm. And while our garden by no means is an example of look how well maintained it is. Oh no. Keep in mind, we're in our first year. There's a lot of weed seeds in our bank there. So the more we stay on top of it year after year, it'll get better. But this is still a really good tool. So as always, links are down below if you want to check it out. We appreciate you guys watching and hanging out with us in our garden. If you have any questions or comments, things we didn't cover, what do they do? Leave a comment below. Leave a comment below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time on the homestead. See ya. Bye.